Hello beautiful souls out there. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Destiny. This is Dr. Destiny. My YouTube channel is Destiny Forever Walks and I am a PhD doctor of philosophy. I'm a holistic health and nutrition coach. I talk about healthy living, healthy and wholesome eating and a wholesome and healthy lifestyle here on my channel. My channel is to inspire you to become her. And her is the acronym that I use for health, empowerment, and real foods. So we are talking about real foods today again because I started a series talking about exploring the whole foods diet. I did an introduction on that, opened up a new series, which was part one. Go back and find that video. It was just an introduction to let you know what was coming after all of that. Because I'm gonna have another series too, which will be today. And then I will be doing uh, the final conclusion of this in series three. My lovely people, welcome to my YouTube channel again. This is Dr. Destiny. I just told you people, I get so excited and so happy when I come up here on this platform to talk to you guys about a wholesome and healthy lifestyle, wholesome and healthy living. I want to empower you. That's my passion, is empowering and seeing people become the best version of whom they were created to be. And people, you have so much value. You have so much worth. You have so much of a purpose here on this planet. That's why the creative universe created you for greatness. He created you as a whole being to be healthy, to be wholesome, heal, whole and complete. Let's jump into part two because this part we're gonna, we talked about in the last series about what is whole foods. And we talked about the different parts of whole foods and I told you I'm not getting into the things that you should look for when you're out there doing your grocery shopping. But today we're going to get into those. Now there are 10 things or 10 findings or 10 things that we need to keep in our mind when we're doing our grocery shopping or even when we're putting those foods or taking those foods out of our kitchen cabinets. Be consciously aware of what you are picking up. Relabels relabels get to understand and know what these names are you are allowed you can pick up that phone and call these companies call these manufacturers and ask them what is this i don't understand that i don't know what that name is tell me what is this in my food that i'm purchasing and you have the right to do that and they have to give you information on that my people so let's get started it's 10 things that you need to be looking for when you're out there grocery shopping. Now I'm gonna break these into increments because I don't want it to be too long. Today I'm gonna go and give you five things that you need to look for. And then come in at the next series that I will be bringing to you, which will be series three. That will be the conclusion. And then I will give you the last five, which makes a total of 10, 10 findings. So go back and look at part one of this series, the introduction, and it will tell you what is whole foods. It will give you things that we are to be looking for in our foods, things that we should know that is healthy in those foods for us to have that body so our body can be nourished. And that is what our bodies are meant to eat, our whole foods. So part two. And I have notes in front of me because you're going to see me looking maybe toward the notes. So part two. Part two will be talking about things to look for when you're out there doing your grocery shopping or taking that trip to your kitchen cabinet. So here we go. Foods to look for when you're doing your grocery shopping. This is series two. Now. As I said before in the last video, I do encourage my clients to come to be consciously aware, very aware of what they are choosing as foods. Be conscious aware of what you are eating and what are you putting into your bodies. 
I find myself many times, because I say I'm a holistic health coach too, so I do a lot of teaching, I do a lot of helping my clients to choose a healthy and wholesome diet. But I find myself educating clients to revert back to the roots of their ancestors. Go back to great, great grandma. And you know, I'm the stories, them stories that's been passed down. I say, don't eat anything that your great grandmother wouldn't recognize as food. So, let's explore, my lovely people, my beautiful souls, let's explore the whole foods diet together. And how to choose a healthy, and how to choose these healthy and wholesome foods. If you go to Genesis in the Bible to chapter 1, verse 29, I talk about that all the time. The creator of this universe, he will give you a wholesome and healthy diet of the things that we should be eating, the foods that we should be gravitating toward to getting those things into our bodies, into our diets. So let's learn together today how to choose those healthy and wholesome foods. And my people, I'm gonna give you 10 things that you really need to look for. During this whole series, I will be giving you 10. Only five today I will give you. And then the other five, the last five, I will give you in the conclusion, which will be series three. So let's look at these things that you really need to pay focus and close attention to. The next time that you head out to the supermarket, going out to doing that grocery shopping, or getting up and saying, I'm going into the kitchen to make me a meal, you need to know. Don't bring that stuff home and put it in your kitchen cabinet because it shouldn't be in there. So you shouldn't have to worry about what's in your cabinet when you clean out all that old junk and throw it out, all those unhealthy, all those foods that are not wholesome, throw them out your cabinet, get rid of it, declutter all of the unhealthy things. So let's look at five of these things today that you should be definitely looking for when you're doing your grocery shopping. Number one, look at patterns in your diet. Rather than focusing on this food is good, this food is bad, no, my people, you're going to look at patterns in your diet. You focus on how people can make lifelong changes, taking into account each individual's likes and their dislikes, as well as the ethnic and the cultural practices and their life circumstances. That was number one. You look at patterns in your diet rather than focus on the, that the food is good or the food is bad. Number two, my lovely people, let's get this together too. What you eat can affect your mental health. Now that was a question that I put on my community tab and I did a poll. So that's the answer. What you eat can affect your mental health. Now ask that question. What you eat can affect your mental health. Is that true or is that false? It's yes to that or no. So I just gave you an answer. So what you eat, it really does affect your mental health. Now the idea that eating certain foods could promote brain health, much the way it can promote your heart health. And it may seem like common sense, but people listen, historically, nutrition research has focused largely on how the foods that we eat affect our physical health rather than how it affects our mental health. Number two, what can you eat? What you eat can affect your mental health. Let's go to number three. Number three, coffee has health benefits, and that may surprise me of you, but there are health benefits in coffee, it's depending on how we use it, or how we're drinking it, or what we're putting in the coffee, people. But coffee is a beloved of so many people, but it does have health benefits and have often been called into question. Now, the latest assessment this year of the health effects of coffee and that caffeine which is in coffee However, my people, it has been said to be very reassuring. Now, their consumption has been linked to a reduced risk 
of all kinds of ailments, including like Parkinson's disease, heart disease, type 2 diabetes, gallstones people, depression, suicide, cirrhosis, liver cancer, melanoma, and prostate cancer. So people, number three will be coffee. It has health benefits. Let's go number four. Number four, our microbiome is largely shaped by what we eat. Now, scientists know that the trillions of bacteria and other microbes that live in our guts, people, it play a very important role in your health, influencing our risk of developing obesity. It also, it influences a risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes and a whole wide range of other unhealthy conditions. All these conditions that cause our body to be in an unhealthy state. That was number four. Our, microbi our microbiome is largely shaped by what we eat. Number five, which will be the last one today, and five, we will do five, and we will come back on the next series, and we will do the next five, okay? That will be the conclusion and part of the series three. So number five will be highly processed foods may actually be addicted, and I say it does, because a lot of times what they put on these foods, it costs our bodies to crave for more so they so i mean they are wise they are putting stuff on that food that's going to give you that little thing touching your body it's going to want that again but highly processed foods may actually be addicted like potato chips and ice cream all those good foods that we like that pizza they are more unhealthy food contains all those things that's going to make you crave for more and more. And these are things that are really not healthy for you. These potato chips, this ice cream, this pizza, and more unhealthy foods. What they do is they continue to dominate the standard American diet. Despite being linked to obesity, my people, and linked to heart disease and, and to type 2 diabetes and other health problems. They are cheap, but prices are really going up now, but they are really cheap and convenient and they are engineered. They are purposely fixed that way. These foods are processed that way to taste good so you can want more. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's how they've been manufactured, process. okay? They are aggressively marketed by the food industry so you could go out there and spend more money and more money and more money and then you get so much of it that it breaks down your body and your body becomes uh, unhealthy and then also you're gonna start needing that doctor to come in and start giving you some pills and that was and they all work together people believe me they working together they are working together they gonna get that money one way or the other right yes we need to know that so that are the five things that I wanted to talk to you about today, and I will come back with the next five uh, at the next series, which will be the conclusion of this video. But like I said, stay away from potato chips, stay away from ice cream, and all those unhealthy foods that contain all these preservatives and all these additives, all these processed foods, because they are there to dominate the standard American diet. And it's going to cost you obesity, heart disease, and everything I did that, uh, type 2 diabetes and all those things, which these foods are not just tempting people, but they are very addicted. They are very additive. They will get you going, my people. They are aggressively, I said, marketed by the food industry to keep you hooked, to keep you addicted, to keep you buying more and more and more, okay? So that concludes that five. So look out for the next five, but I'm going to go into you and talk to you about foods that help you to be healthy. So let's talk about that, and I want you to run across this right quick. So I'm going to give you some positive things so you can, you know, stay positive, stay tuned, get out there and do your research, 
go out there and search and find out more information go get information that's out there my people it is out there but foods that can help you to be healthy so what should you put into your grocery cart and what should you put on your plate and I'm here to help you with that. And I'm going to give you a few pointers so you can know how to jumpstart your diet, your wholesome, healthy diet, so you can go out and do more research. Consult, I mean, you may want to uh, connect with a uh, nutritionist or someone that, a dietitian, that can help you to be able to plan your meals and your diet to get, to get you to get it into eating healthy. But people, Here's a quick overview of what to look for the next time, like I said, that you're in the grocery store. And you want to aim for a mix of meal time. You want to aim for a mix at meal time. So your food should be like the rainbow, they say. Look, just like, look, just like my, just like my outfit, hold on. A rainbow, it should be of all different colors. You see what I'm saying? All different colors of the rainbow. That's what your foods should look like. So let's talk about what foods should we be looking for to put in our carts or to put on our plates. First, we should be looking for those whole foods. Whole foods, people. Those are foods that has been shown that is supposed to be wholesome and healthy for your body. Some studies have shown that preservatives, food colorings, and other additives may cause a worsen hyperactivity and depression. So people, you make sure that you're getting those foods that not processed, that's not processed, that is processed as little as possible. Those are your whole foods. Think, start thinking fresh fruits, fresh vegetables, a lot of eating raw foods, getting those leafy, healthy greens and salads into your body. Number two, another food that will help you to be healthy is fiber, people. Fiber, fiber, fiber. Well, you get that from your plant-based foods, and they are full of fiber, which helps your body absorb glucose and food sugars. And more slowly, it, it, it helps you to avoid those sugar, those sugar rushes and crashes. And those fiber-rich foods may include like fruits and vegetables and nutrients filled carbs like whole grains and beans, your legumes and your lentils and all those things. You got to get that fiber. That's healthy for you. The next thing is antioxidants. You should be looking for foods with antioxidants. And these are these information fighters, that's what antioxidants are. The information fighters are especially plentiful, plentiful in your berries, your leafy greens, vegetables, and the spice called turmeric, and foods with omega-3 fatty acids, including salmon and black chia seeds. Dark chocolate also contains antioxidants and sugar, but we don't want to get that crazy white refined sugar, so indulge if you're eating sugar in moderation, okay? Another thing that we should be able to look for in our foods to keep us healthy is folate. Now, folate is your B vitamin 9. The type of B vitamin that it helps us with the dopamine production without forcing it to surge the way sugars do. So, find it. You can find uh, that vitamin B9, which is your, your folate. You can find it in leafy green vegetables, lentils, cantaloupes, and just do research, and there are so many more. They're just dropping little nuggets here on you, okay? Another thing we should be looking for is vitamin D, which helps with production of serotonin, and we will usually get it from the exposure of the sunlight, direct sunlight that we get our vitamin D from. But also you can get vitamin D from mushrooms, especially mushrooms like orichia or cardiocyte and myotate. And they are another good source. Mushrooms is a good source of vitamin D. Now, if you are though vitamin D deficient, then your doctor may recommend you taking some type of supplement, but I recommend you get out into nature, get out into the direct sun. Let that sun, I mean, get out there. We need to get out there at least 15, 20 minutes a day, getting that sun. If you don't do it every day, you need definitely be out there at least three times out of the week getting that sun. Another thing that we need looking for in our foods, people, is magnesium. 
Magnesium, magnesium is so important and we need to get that in our bodies as well. This essential mineral, it helps with everything from your nerve and your muscle function to keeping your heart rate steady. But it also is vital to the full mood connection. And a mineral deficiency, it's a deficiency, it can really hurt in the bacteria that is in your gut. And it can cause depression. You might want to think on that. It may cause depression and also cause anxiety like symptoms. So you load up with natural sources such as dark chocolate and almonds and cashews and spinach and other dark leafy greens and green vegetables, even your bananas, your beans, which is, are your legumes. That's just where you're going to get your magnesium from. And another thing we can get that also will be the last one here. Things we can get to cause us to eat more healthy, fermented foods, fermented foods. Now fermented foods are packed with probiotics, which are certain live bacteria that are good for your digestive tract. Now let me give you some examples of lovely people. That would include stuff like sauerkraut. Kamechi, miso, temp, and the fermented or uh, drinking kabache. Those are where you can get some fermented foods from, and these can be things that's also healthy in your diet. These foods can also tend to be high though in sodium, so we gotta be very cautious and careful of the intake that we are consuming. And we have to also consume these types of fermented foods in moderation. Or we can just skip it all together. If you have high blood pressure, that is something you need to take in consideration. If you are known to have, or you've been told that your high blood pressure levels is way off key, then those fermented foods you definitely need to avoid putting those into your diet and eating those things. So I gave you those five things. And so we don't, we just, I just, I'm just here talking to you today trying to encourage you, trying to educate you, trying to give you more of what you really need. And I think that was really healthy and that's something good. So people, I think we have had enough and uh, maybe I'll, I'll be back, I'll be back. I want to give you more because I know this is very interesting. And there are some others and I want to add more to, to you in the next series, the next video. I'm going to add more to the list and so just just, just just stay tuned for the next series coming. And those are the things that we should be looking for in our diet and to stay healthy. So as I mentioned before, my people, stay tuned for the next video. It is coming. The final conclusion of this series, I'm going to give you things how to go out shopping and looking for foods that you need that to stay healthy. And I'm gonna tell you how to pick up your different foods that are whole foods that's gonna keep your body in a healthy state. In the state of mind, that whole man, the whole man, the mind, body, and the soul. It's a cycle of what your creator universe talks about in Genesis chapter one, verse 29. Keeping that body healthy, my lovely people. And I thank you so much for watching this series too, this series too. And I will be back and we will continue to talk more on this. Go back and watch part one of this series, Exploring the Whole Foods Diet. The part series uh, one, it will help you to understand more and then you will understand where we picked up today. And then we'll come to the final conclusion on this on our next time we come and do a video on this series, which will be the conclusion. Love it, people. Thank you for coming to my channel. I appreciate you and namaste to every beautiful soul out there. Thank you for your encouragement. Thank you for your motivation. Thank you for your comments. Thank you for your everything that you come and do on my channel. Even though when you come to give me knowledge, information, you pass along things, you're helping me. I am teachable. I am very teachable. I'm here to learn because we, we, we are to learn from each other. So stay tuned for the next video coming. Namaste. I love you. And I'll see you at the next video. Dr. Destiny says, go out there and do something that is so extremely healthy today for your body and your, for your mind and your soul. And stay healthy and continue to eat that healthy, wholesome diet and keep that body fit and keep that body right. Like, like uh, Jay says, 
Like the J uh, Jordan says, keep that body tight and keep that body right. You better say that, J. I love you all, people. So I'll talk to you in the next video. Bye. Love you.